President of uh, Save Our Council's Coalition, Carol and Corrigan. Sop welcomes the Deputy Premier's announcement that he has listened and that he is going to stop all council mergers in the bush. Sop calls on the Premier-elect to listen to all communities and to comprehensively abandon Mike Baird's undemocratic, sham, dictatorial, forced council amalgamation yeah. agenda yeah. for the entire state of New South Wales. Yeah. Yeah. Every person in New South Wales has the right to local democracy. Yeah. 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 SOC continues the fight for councils that are in court fighting the government and we continue the fight for councils that have already been undemocratically, forcibly merged. The last time SOC was here, we were announcing that we were going to Orange. We went to Orange and supported the communities and the um, result in Orange was an amazing success. A huge swing against the government. Yes. If we do not have our message today heard, we will be back. We will be here and we will be announcing that we are going to do an Orange in Manly. In Manly. Bring it on! Yes. Before I welcome our, our first speaker today, I would like to acknowledge the people who have sent apologies. <coughs> Very strong supporters of Save Our Council Coalition. Mr. Alan Jones from 2GB, Mr. Luke Foley, the Leader of the Opposition, Mr. Peter Primrose, and Keith Rhodes, the President of Local Government New South Wales. I would now like to call on our first speaker, Mr. David Shoebridge. MLC, the Greens. Now, a credible politician because he has a beard. Yeah, you've got to do it, apparently. Um, well, thank you all for coming today. Today, what we see here is a united community against Mike Baird's forced amalgamations agenda. This was never a policy that was taken on board by the whole of the Liberal Party. It's now been rejected by the National Party, by the Greens by the Labor Party, by the Shooters and Fishers Party, and by every independent in that house. The only politician who thought this was a good idea to set fire to local communities was Mike Baird. Sure. And local government has seen that man off. Yes. Well, it's time to end forced amalgamations, not just in the bush, but all across this great state. Yeah. We welcome the National Party coming out three years too late, admittedly, but coming out and saying there'll be no forced amalgamations in the bush. But does any government seriously think you can have an incoherent policy with genuine local democracy in the bush, but you ram this kind of anti-democratic mega councils in the city? That can't last. It won't last. So we've got a message here today to Gladys Berejiklian. This was Mike Baird's failed policy. You want a fresh start with the community in New South Wales, junk forced amalgamations, we'll all get behind any government that says they stand there for local communities and if you don't stop it, if you don't stop forced amalgamations, Manly's in peril and come 2019, this community will not forget. Thank you very much David. I'd like to introduce Robert Borzak from the Shooters, Fishers and Farmers. Thank you. The Shooters, Fishers and Farmers Party have been against forced council amalgamation since 2011. Yesterday, yesterday I was up in Oberon with the local uh, council people up there and the local community from all over the area, whether it was Bathurst, whether it was people as far as Goulburn, and it was very clear in the hall, it was standing room only, nearly a hundred people there yesterday, that what we did see in Orange will be repeated right across the whole state. Yeah. Yes. There is no one there in that room prepared to believe that Barillaro can actually deliver what he's saying he's going to do. Yeah. For a start, it's not complete. He's only talking about those councils that haven't already been amalgamated. He's not talking about the most important thing. It's one size fits all. If he's going to do that, it's got to be for all councils in the state, yeah. Yeah. including those that have been already amalgamated. Yeah. Yeah. Our key message for that meeting, and it was the same before Christmas, is the Shooters, Fishers and Farmers Party will introduce a bill to the Parliament to, first of all, 
put every council area that has been forcibly already amalgamated or is about to be amalgamated to a plebiscite and those that don't want to uh, um, be amalgamated won't be amalgamated. That's what we'll do. We'll get the support, we'll get the support in the upper house, I'm sure, and we'll then pass it to our new member in the lower house, the member for Orange, Phil Bernardo. And he will sponsor that bill and then we'll see how much and how much uh, bottle the Nationals and Mr. Barillaro actually have. Yeah. Let's see what they're going to actually do rather than talk and talk is cheap. The reality is they don't have the numbers in the joint party room. They don't have the numbers uh, obviously in the parliament or even in the cabinet. How they hope to achieve what they're even promising is absolutely opaque to me. But anyway, we're going to keep the fight up. I notice there's a distinct upbeat attitude and uh, feeling here today in stark contrast to what we've had to put up with. We've got rid of Baird. Uh, yep. All I can say is Gladys, we're only talking to you, not interested in the uh, in the monkeys. We're interested in the organ grinder. We're talking to Gladys only. Thank you. Thank you. We all know what the catalyst for these decisions has been, and that was the phenomenal result that our party achieved in Orange on the 12th of November this year. And that, wasn't, and that wasn't just a win for the people of Orange, but it was a win for the people of New South Wales. That they won't stand up and be treated like this, to be trodden on. So forced council amalgamations, it's encouraging to hear Mr Barillaro come out on Friday and saying he's going to withdraw his support. Let's see how much bottle he's got. Let's see if they can actually pull it through. And let's have false council amalgamations withdrawn from across the state. Thank you. Thank you. Never argue with a big Italian. <laughs> I would now like to call Marianne Salava, the Mayor of Shell Harbour. Yeah. I'm from regional New South Wales. Maybe not the bush, but we're regional. We've got our regional show on this weekend which clearly demonstrates we're a regional area. Um, John Barillaro has um, clarified his comments and saying it's only for the bush. Well it should be for people all over New South Wales. Yeah. Yeah. We don't yeah. yeah. to be merged. It's up to our communities to make that decision, not the State Parliament. I spent four years in Parliament with Gladys Berejiklian and during that time I can tell you my opinion of her is that she's a capable woman but it is also that she is a sensible woman and a woman with compassion. And I'm calling on Gladys to have compassion for the people of New South Wales and for the people of Shell Harbour City. Yeah. immediately and we will recognise that you listen to the people of New South Wales. Continue in this vein and we will continue with our battle. We will continue to every court in this land and we will fight the Liberal National Party to the very end. So. My suggestion is please look on this and, and make a determination in our favour because the people of New South Wales deserve to be respected. Thank you. Yeah. And speaking of courts, I'd like to call on Anthony Morano, who is representing the Mayor of Polara. Thank you, everybody. Yes, I am a Liberal councillor from Mullara, a proud Liberal councillor from a very well-run, competent council. Um, at the press conference last week, Mr Baird talked about all the wonderful infrastructure projects that his government is doing and what a wonderful shape the economy is in. Ooh. Well, the economy may be in a good shape, but at what cost to the community? Yeah. 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 Well, the removal of trees for the light rail, the forced amalgamations, and all of the whole long list of things, closing down of the art schools, it's, you know, he said he's listening to the people and he's not. At the local government conference in Wollongong back in September, he agreed, he said in front of a room full of a thousand people that he would meet with all the mayors that are in court. Since that conference, he has declined every single request to meet. So will the new Premier agree to meet with, with the mayors? Because you, you need to meet with us. Well, Lara Council is not going anywhere. We are going to fight this to our last breath. I'd like to now call on Michelle Fournier, former Mayor of Leichhardt. Yeah, Michelle. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Uh, my council, like our council, was forcibly amalgamated on the 12th of May last year, together with Ash Ashfield Council and Marrickville Council. Three councils with very strong finances, with excellent ratings in terms of surveys with the residents, and with strong and effective advocacy for their local area. We know that every survey that was run locally and also every survey that has been run throughout New South Wales said the same thing over and over again. Our councils, our communities did not want to be amalgamated. Yeah. So now we call on the state government, we call on the new Premier to treat everybody equally city and country. Yes. We all reject amalgamations. We all deserve to be able to have local democracy, to be able to have local representation, and to be able to decide if we want our councils amalgamated or not. We call on a referendum, and we call on it to happen right now. I'd like to call on Greg Cummings, previous Mayor of Holroyd Council. Good morning, what a great morning it is after that announcement from the uh, former Premier. Holroyd Council, which was a multi-award winning council over many years, merged with uh, Two Thirds of Auburn and part of Parramatta. Yeah, well, and, and a takeover it was. Of the 20 senior staff, that were uh, employed by the former Holroyd Council, there is now only seven left. Oh, so much so that the administrator has admitted to reviewing photos of the, uh, of the rally in Martin Place on December of 2015 so we could identify which employees of the former Holroyd Council could attend those meetings. Oh, we have expected that of brown shirt Germany, but not of New South Wales in 2017. Holroyd also delivered a petition of 10,000 signatures to the New South Wales government, and all they could do was ridicule me, which I'll take that on the chin, but they treated our, our constituents with contempt. And now they want to sack the garbos, they want to go after the pills. This is all corporatisation of local government, and it won't wash. Local government is about servicing their community, not about bottom line figures. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now I know that my, our community groups are forming back together to bring back Holroyd. Yeah. Yeah. I wish everybody here all the best and let's go on with the fight. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for that. Um, I'm now going to switch it up and we're calling a resident from Pitwater, Peter Middleton. Nine out of ten Pitwater residents rejected an amalgamated council, rejected Baird's forced action on our community. It's not enough just to look at reversing the process for rural councils. The Pitwater community demands to be included in any process that can give us back our local representation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. If a Liberal government hopes to have any chance of retaining the seat of Pitwater, they need to start listening to the community that Premier Baird ignored. For Pitwater, amalgamation will become a totally Australian state. It was always about denying the community any ongoing say in development in our own region. If we proceed to an elected <coughs> mega council, the Pitwater community voice goes from nine out of nine elected councillors devoted to our area to 20% of the elected councils in a mega council that is so disparate and apart from the area we know as before. of going under and I find this quite deplorable 
knowing that the residents have voted overwhelmingly against the amalgamation. So I'm really, really asking for support from Save Our Councils to save, in fact, Kuminga. Thank you very much. Yeah.